What's up everyone and welcome back to another Skate 3 video. Today we're going to be trying to do the double bridge gap. Now I have been recording this for the past couple weeks just hoping I would land it and the reason why I have been recording for the past couple weeks and I do want to land it again is just because I don't like my old video even though it's like my most popular video. I really don't like it. And plus I haven't done this on the Xbox yet. I've only done it on the PS3. But I don't like my old video format. I feel like it was an older time and it was more cringy. So I do want to land it with a better format. And we are not landing it yet. <laughs> but hopefully we can actually land this on the Xbox today. And then I can say I've landed the double bridge on PS3 and I've landed on Xbox. You know, I might go into, oh, ah, that stupid pole. So the pole, the pole is the worst part about all this. I feel like the aiming is perfect, but that stupid pole, like it magnetizes to the pole. You automatically go to the pole. Okay, now let's do this. Let's do this, boys. We're in free skate. Now, now Chris Cole won't get in our way. I think some people are actually under the impression that I can just like do this anytime I want just because I landed at one time and that's not how it works. I'm not a master of this game. I wish I could land it anytime I wanted to. Make my days a whole lot easier. I usually spend like all weekend trying to get this gap. When I do want to get it, I usually spend about all weekend trying to do it. I think the first time I ever landed, or the only time I ever landed, it took me like 12 hours, something like that. It took me like two days, about six hours a day, Friday and Saturday, before I finally landed. We're going to make it over. We're going to tweak a melon or nope. And another reason why I wanted to land this again is because I got some complaints on my last video talking about how I was pushing too much. So now I'm going to do this without pushing at all. Now people are going to have to find something else to complain about. Let's try to get up there. Hey, oh no, I feel like we're in the air. We're in the air too long. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That's happened plenty of times. Like, you get way far out there. And right before you land, he respawns. Oh, yeah. I think I also got some complaints that the last video was too long. Don't worry, guys. This video is still going to be 10 minutes. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think one of the comments said something like, uh, You spent 13 minutes on something I landed in first try. Or you made a 13-minute video on something I landed in first try. <laughs> I love those comments. I landed the day that the demo was released. I landed the first year that the game was out. But comments really don't bother me. I mean, they do They do help out the video when you comment. So make sure to leave a comment, guys. Make sure to like the video. You can dislike if you want to, because that still helps out the video. As long as the likes overpower the dislikes, the video does good. So guys, please help me out. Please help me out. You guys know how I do it. Put me in that YouTube algorithm. Get this video. 1 million views. Please, please. At least get it more views than my old video. Maybe I should do a Toasty Ghost Reads <laughs> Mean Comments videos. I can be one of those YouTubers. Reading mean comments and bashing everybody. It's not what I want to do. I want to have a positive outlook on my channel. You know, I have made some videos where I'm negative and things like that, but I really want to move to the positive side. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, man, if I could just make it over that pole. I hate that pole. I hate it. So the sad thing is, as much time as I've put into this gap, trying to redo it and everything and recording and editing and stuff, this video probably won't get as many views. It probably won't get many views at all just because people have already seen me do it. And a lot of them just assume it should be easier for me now, which it is sort of easier for me now. Look, I mailed over that and it still didn't work. So I have said before that rolling off of that ramp is actually easier to get farther than like ollieing or something but i have been practicing lately and i have been like ollieing off of the ramp and sometimes i get a good distance out there but most of the time if i just roll i get out there farther most of the time but look at that i just ollied and went way out there and now i'm going to respawn but ollies and tricks don't always work like sometimes you barely even get out there like a lot of times i do it is not like that last one I did. Like, I barely ever get the distance whenever I try to trick off that ramp. 
it's usually just rolling over i mean i've practiced with the rolling over multiple times so that's just what i'm used to see like i just oh 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 ah oh. Uh, see i always try to play with that pole like the pole is there to get you so i feel like if i could just get past the pole i win against the pole whether i land anything or not <laughs> i just feel like i've won against the pole i hate that pole so you know what i should do people were talking about how i was pushing too much or whatever maybe i should just do this whole gap mongo pushing bet this dude's never scared in his life look at him mongo pushing on a video game can you believe it can you believe it guys wah 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 <laughs> i'm just kidding guys you can play however you like you want a mongo push i don't care you want to push the whole time i don't care but a lot of people seem to really get triggered by that stuff. My advice to you is just play how you want, guys. It's a video game. We're spreading love and positivity here. Stupid pole. Let's try to miss it. Oh, we missed it. Oh, we landed. Oh, yeah. We rolled away. Finally. <sighs> wow. I've been trying so long for that. Thank you. I beat the pole <laughs> and I rolled away with it on the Xbox. Just want to see what happened. <laughs> Look how slow motion. Looks so crazy. Did the late flip. My leg went through the pole right there. So that's exactly what happened. Doesn't matter. I count it as a land. I am so glad that I was finally able to land that again. I don't know how I landed. I think I just got lucky. Got lucky once again, <laughs> just like last time. Feel like this gap is more about luck, at least on the right side. So I think now what I want to do is try the left side. I want to try the left side again. I've already done the left side in the past, but just because people will skip to the end of this video, I'm going to add something on the end. That way they have to skip back. So what they're going to do is they're going to skip forward to the end of the video and then they're going to have to go back to see the right side. By the way, everybody just post a bunch of fake timestamps in the comments below. Be like, Oh, he landed it here. Just post a bunch of fake timestamps in the comments. It'll help out the video and it'll also troll some people who are looking to skip to the end. So consider this as a reward to you guys who are watching to the end of the video. You get something extra. You get some you get a bonus challenge bonus challenge clap clap okay okay let's get over this we can wait a second wait a second wait a second D did i just do a 900 almost 1080 <laughs> i was so thrown off by the 1080 almost showing up i bet we could have spun it a little bit farther and got a 1080. you know what let's try a 1080. Cause why not? You get another bonus challenge. First we did a 900. Now we're going to do a 1080. Hopefully. I wonder if we should add like a, a tail walk or something. I feel like I should leave the tail walk to Zexy Zek. Tell Zexy Zek to do a 1080 tail walk over the double bridge gap. Tell me if I can land a 1080 over the double bridge gap. Tell Zexy Zek that I'm calling him out to do a 1080 tail walk. I know he can do it. You just gotta give him that push, guys. And if I do a 1080 over the double bridge gap, you also have to tell Night Speeds that he has to do a 1080 over the bridge gap, but it has to be in hardcore. Tell him that, guys. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't wanna put that pressure on Night Speeds. I don't even think, yeah, I, I don't even know if you can actually get out there in hardcore. You probably can, but I imagine it's very difficult. But if Night Speeds wants to do it, then by all means, do the left side of the double bridge gap on hardcore Night Speeds. I don't wanna have to do it. <laughs> I definitely don't want to do that. Oh. 
Ah, 1080, boys. I believe that's a 1080. So you know what to do. Zexy Zek, 1080 tail walk, night speeds, 1080 hardcore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys don't have to do that. And just in case anybody is wondering what's what my settings are, I'm playing on easy, of course. There's, I, I don't know if you could do it on the other difficulties. I have tried, but I'm not sure if you can do it. Well, I've tried them on the right side. I haven't tried normal on the left side, but I have tried hardcore on the left side, and I wasn't able to make it over there with hardcore. So I don't know about normal though. I might, maybe that's something somebody else can try. So there are my settings for my Xbox. I got what, two loose and my wheels are hard. <laughs> my wheels are hard. And my style is standard. Now I usually put my style as OG. I was just playing this. I didn't know what my settings were when I started it up. But I usually set my style to OG just because OG gives you a little bit more speed. But as you can see, it also works in standard. It also works in loose. And I don't know about aggressive because I never play aggressive. I'm sure I'm sure it still works out. And I usually put my trucks probably about, you know, medium, medium tight. I usually put them right there. But it looks like it really helped me out here, I guess. I'm not really sure. So if the trucks weren't as loose, maybe I wouldn't be able to curve out of that uh, transition after the double bridge. And by the way, I did a lot of talking about my comments that I, that I received. Most of my comments are actually pretty good and supportive. I was just I was just picking out some ones that were were negative. The, I don't get many negative comments, but they are there, and they don't really bother me because, like I said, they do help out the video. But thank you everybody for commenting and supporting everything. I wasn't trying to call out anybody. Like I said, I just want to be positive, and it's just my way of having fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.